Hi, my name is Hannah Fair, and this is my tribute speech to Emily Dickinson. Okay. Got three on the couch. We got a dog. We got one, two, three, four. Another dog. Eight. In her 55 years of life, less than 20 of Emily Dickinson's 1800 poems were published, yet she is one of the most famous American poets who has ever lived. Today, I will be honoring Emily Dickinson for revolutionizing poetry structure and the topics written about in American poetry. Emily Dickinson's poetry form paved the way for the modern free verse spoken word poetry popular in the 21st century. My favorite area of writing is poetry, and Dickinson has personally inspired me. I also enjoy spoken word poetry, which Dickinson has heavily influenced. Today, I will honor Emily Dickinson for revolutionizing poetry structure and the topics written about in American poetry. And I will inspire my audience about the lasting legacy of Dickinson's poetry. I will now begin to explore Dickinson's breakthrough accomplishments in poetry. First, according to Shankar Van Dantam of the LA Times, Dickinson wrote about topics involving internal struggles, such as anxiety and depression, in a time when writers only wrote about the outside world. She made writing about mental issues more acceptable. Van Dantam writes, quote, Dickinson may have had bipolar traits, end quote. Between 1858 and 1865, Dickinson wrote over 800 of her poems and gradually became more confined to her room. She even talked to visitors through a closed door. And when her father died, she did not leave her room for the funeral, which occurred in downstairs of her home. The famous author Joyce Carol Oates called Dickinson, quote, the most paradoxical of poets, the very poet of paradox, end quote. She had a preoccupation with death, yet loved life. Her poems criticize religion, yet embrace a new form of it. Dickinson is known for her mysterious life and brilliant American poetry. To add to her famous eccentricness, Dickinson was rarely seen outside of her home, and when she was, onlookers noted that she was only wearing a white dress. According to John Green of Crash Course, quote, for Dickinson, white was not the color of innocence or purity or ghosts. It was the color of passion and intensity. For Dickinson, the real, true, rich life of a soul, even if it was physically sheltered, was burned white hot. Now that I've told, end quote, now that I've told you about Dickinson's poetry accomplishments, I will describe her punctuation usage, which is carried into modern day poetry. According to the Emily Dickinson Journal, Dickinson's free verse structure and unconventional punctuation has influenced modern day poetry. Dickinson used an excessive amount of dashes within her poems. Some critics attribute this to Dickinson attempting to typographically symbolize the way that the mind works, separating thoughts with dashes. Others conjecture that if the dashes are merely eccentric handwriting or possibly an accident. I have detailed the lasting effects of her punctuation usage. I will tell you now about her lifestyle choices which have impacted current standards for women. According to Shira Wolowski in the article from the database Project Muse, Dickinson's lifestyle choices, such as not getting married or having children, and her influential writings that question conventional beliefs, such as puritanical ideas, have influenced today's ideologies. Dickinson never got married, nor bore any children. While she was, and is sometimes viewed as an odd recluse, Dickinson lived a life of deep introspection and isolation to write. Today, many people choose various life's, life paths to pursue what they are most passionate about. She was a woman who struggled with mental health issues, though they were never diagnosed. She rose above it. In today's spoken word poetry, many people discuss the struggles of living with a mental health disorder. And Dickinson was one of the pioneers of this practice. One of her poems read like this, began quote, Faith is a fine invention for gentlemen who see, but microscopes are prudent in an emergency, end quote. She seems to be criticizing faith by calling it an invention. However, she claims that it is only a result of gentlemen who can see, implying that true sight is only obtained by those who have faith. Yet, 
Dickinson paradoxically argues for the importance and prominence of, mi of the microscope in the state of an emergency. She seems to be arguing for the value in both religion and science and the ways that they can complement each other. In conclusion, today I have honored Emily Dickinson for revolutionizing poetry structure and the topics written about in American poetry. Although a vast majority of her poems were published after her death, 800 to be exact, Emily Dickinson is one of the most famous American poets to have ever lived. Her mysterious life, audacity to write about mental and internal struggles, use of her unconventional punctuation, free verse style of poetry and lifestyle has made her one of the most intriguing and influential poets in American history. Thank you. Five and a half.